The mayor and police commissioner spoke about violence reduction this morning and say crime is trending downward. WJZ investigator Mike Helgren is live at City Hall with more. Mike. Jessica, the number of killings is down by 15 compared to this time last year. That's a reduction of about 30 percent. Still, Baltimore remains a violent city with roughly five murders every week so far in 2018. Uh, read the USA Today piece about Baltimore being one of the most violent cities in America, or the violent. Uh, but what we want you to know is that ever since November, we've been trending downward in terms of crime. Mayor Pew and, reacts uh, this morning to a USA Today report calling Baltimore America's most dangerous city. He points to Baltimore having the highest per capita murder rate in the nation. The mayor says there's been a sharp reduction in recent weeks to murders. They're down double digits. Are we satisfied yet? No. Uh, are we trending in the right direction? Yes. Uh, are we strategically focused on what needs to happen? Absolutely. She recently replaced the commissioner. He points to new tech, including the Shot Spotter program to respond to shootings faster. Talking about technology, we're talking about the license plate readers that's coming both fixed and going to be on mobile units that's going to help us throughout the city. Earlier this month, Baltimore saw 12 days without a homicide, the longest streak in years. Still, just last night, a man was murdered in a barber shop in Highland Town by men wearing masks. The mayor has fought to change the narrative of the city, and she remains optimistic about everybody, the future. You know, it's like the comeback hit. Everybody wants to see when you're down, some, everybody wants to see you get up. And most big cities saw a slight decrease in the number of killings in 2017. Live at Baltimore City Hall, Mike Helgren, WJZ. Mike, thank you. Every day, people are looking for ways to build a stronger Baltimore. And most of us know what the problems are, but few of us have the solution. And that's why WJZ, the Baltimore Sun, and the University of Baltimore will hold Baltimore Standing Together town hall meetings to talk about the issues that we're facing. Our city's leaders will share their plans and answer your questions, so we want to hear from you. Be Heard Baltimore, email your questions to WJZ.com or post them on the WJZ Facebook page.